Okay, let's go see the changes, chat. Hero updates. General. Maximum hit scan fall off range incre increase from 50% to 30. Oh my god, they just fucking shit on hit scan players. There is now a 75% global cap for movement speed buffs applied to allies. Previously, this would only affect Lucio, but several other heroes can now increase ally movement speed. Okay. Added a global 75% cap to movement speed buffs applied to allied heroes. Orisa, Zarya, Lucio, at Symmetra. All tank weapons, abilities, and ultimate damage reduced by 50%. Crowd control durations applied to tanks are reduced by 50%. For the following types. Stuns, sleeps, knockdowns, knockbacks, slow, freeze, root, trap, another space they forgot. The following crowd control abilities are still full duration for tanks. May Blizzard, Reinhardt Shatter, Zarya, Graviton Surge, and Winston Primal Rage. Why are they fucking up a lot with their, like, they, where? Okay. Armor increased from 200 to 400. Fire strike. Enemies can hit fire. Wait. Enemies hit by fire strike now receive fifty percent less healing for four seconds. Okay. That's kind of okay. Okay. Charge can now pin multiple targets. Movement speed is increased by forty percent for the first two seconds of the charge, and can now be canceled by pressing the ability input again. Wow. I didn't mean to do that. Bro. Reinhardt has 700 HP. Let's try to do it like this, chat. I'm gonna try to vacuum pin him. Oh, I missed. And you can stop it, obviously. Orissa. Armor increased from 250 to 500. Now grants 40% increase to movement speed allies. Okay, they need to do a, you know, a space right there. Oh, dude, I, what's up with the, what's up with the green, what's up with the shit today, Blizzard? Okay, halt, no longer fire, fires a projectile. Now attaches a halt tendril to the nearest enemy target within five meters and tethers them to the Orisa for 1.5 seconds. What the fuck? Supercharger no longer grants allies a damage buff. Now slows all enemies within 10 meters by 40%. As Orisa has 700 HP. And I think she doesn't have a halt anymore, right? If she hits shift. Not I thought, what was the... That's weird. You have to hit shift, and then you have to hit right click, and you attach them to you. Like that. So yeah, you can you can jump off the map with them. Like this. Oh wait, now I can. Oh. You know what? Not like this. What? It says my right click I can't use though. Look, I don't get it. Right click I can't use. See? Standing ground. Oh, it's because I'm not close enough. Okay, yeah, I'm actually a fucking dumbass, Jan. Okay. Can you can you get two people or no? No, you can't get two people. Okay. Zarya, health increased from 200 to 300 armor. Again, bro, it's not even one time. Increase, okay, health increased from 200 to 300 and armor increased from 0 to 300. Shield, again, they messed it up. Shield health pool removed. Wow, they, Zarya has no more shields. She has armor now. I don't know about that change. Particle Barrier provides up to 50% movement speed boost to Zarya based on current energy with 0.5% movement speed per one energy. Wow. I, I, is it just me or like people are really obsessed with movement speed? Projected Barrier speed up to 50%. Wait, I'm just going to read all this. Provides up to 50% movement speed to boost the allies based on current energy with 0.5% movement speed per one energy. Sigma, armor increased from 0 to 200, and shield health pool removed, okay? Hyperspheres, now fires one projectile per shot, down from 2, recovery reduced from 1.2 to 0 
and accretion now it receives an additional charge on a successful hit spending additional charge puts the ability on cooldown okay kinetic grass sigma is now immune to crown crown control while wow, kinetic grasp is active you mean crowd control bro blizzard if you guys need someone to proofread all this i i will be gladly to take this for you know ten thousand dollars i'll read all patch notes experimental barrier cooldown reduced to a minimum 0 0.1 second sigma he only throws one ball now <laughs> I think you have two rocks now. If you hit your rock, you get another rock. An elementary application. Wrecking Ball. No longer automatically detaches after six seconds. Minefield. Minefield now blinds enemies for 2.5 seconds when damaging enemies. When blind, the player is unable to see anything except for their HUD. Pile Driver. Pile Driver now reduces the cooldown of Adaptive Shield by one second for each enemy hit. Roadhog. Hook decreased from 600 to 300. Armor increased from 0 to 300. Wow. Hog has armor now. Chain Hook. Now pulls enemies 75% faster. And Take a Breather. No longer heals for a flat value of 300. Now heals 100 health plus an additional 100 health per nearby ally. Holy shit. Okay. Roadhog gains 25% damage reduction when neared allied damage heroes. And this buff is shared with all allies within 5 meters. So you can have 100% damage reduction? No, wait. 125% damage reduction. No, 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 no. This buff is shared with all allies. Okay, no, no, that's, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's, I'm, I'm reading that wrong. I'm a dumbass. That's 20, it, it goes, it goes to... It goes to other teammates. Sorry, I'm a dumbass. Roadhog gains 50% damage reduction when near an allied tank hero. Okay. Whole hog. No longer knocks back opponents. Now cancelable. What was it? Hogs, hogs hook. Brings it back 75% faster. Diva. Passive. Holding the jump keys allow the mech to fall slowly. Fusion Cannons. Primary fire reduced from 2 to 1 damage per bullet. Defense Matrix now grants 30% ultimate charge for blocking an enemy ultimate ultimate projectile. Holy shit, that's cool. Boosters. Cooldown reduced from 4 to 2 seconds. No, that's not cool. Why? Why? Uh, D.Va. I forgot D.Va's gonna be able to do this now. Fucking just fly forever. Jump pack. Now slightly launches nearby enemies into the <laughs> air upon landing. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Primal Rage. Health... In oh, okay, wait a minute. Health granted increased from 1,000 to... 1,700?! Health decays by 75 per second to a minimum health of 350. Okay, that's cool. Holding primary fire in input now charges up a punch. Which can increase the knockback by up to 100%. Creative. Creative. <laughs> Holy shit! Bro! I had 2,000 HP. I thought it was 1,700. Where were we? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Damage characters now. Genji. Swift Strike now has two charges. Okay, what the fuck? 
Refund one Swift Strike charge per elimination. Activating Dragon Blade also refunds one charge. Damage reduced from 50 to 30. Okay. Dragon Blade. Duration reduced from 6 to 3 seconds. And after Dragon Blade ends, Genji gains 40% faster attack speed for 6 seconds. Genji has two charges. You like that guy? You like that ghost dash? I know you did, chat. Uh, refund one swift strike per elimination. So you can... There you go. Oh, I didn't get that other kill. Damn. Ready? Watch this, chat. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Damn it! That's literally like... Three slashes. And you get a, and you get faster attack speed for six seconds after forty percent attack speed after six seconds. Doomfist, a new new additional passive using a basic ability that dealt no damage to enemies reduces the current cooldowns of the other two abilities by one second. Can now be seismic slam can now be canceled after a zero point two delay by pressing the ability input again. <laughs> Echo, new passive assimilation. Echo heals for 30% of her current missing health when she gets a final blow. <laughs> this is more, th th this shit's more of a joke than my fucking, than my own gameplay. This healing generates ultimate charge. This passive also affects her duplicate copy. Glide. Speed increased by 15%. Oh my god, this is the fucking thing that I, I don't understand. Okay, chat, ready? We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to stand in front of something to get shot at. Oh man, Echo's about to die, chat. Echo's about to die. No. 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 Now. Oh, it's only it's 30%. Oh, okay. 30% of her current missing health. Okay, see that I, I flew right over that. It's 30% of her current missing what up, what health. Up? So if Thanks you're only missing 10 HP, you're Echo only getting three. And her glide speed increased by 15%. Yeah, that that because that's what we need. We need we need to make Echo more unkillable. Fully frozen targets take 100% increased quick melee damage from all sources. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Ice wall now launches heroes in the air when built underneath them. I like that. That is actually a really cool change. I like that. That's fucking sick. I like it. I like it. Cryo freeze size increased by 50%. Okay. I really like that ice wall. That that that's actually really cool. I wanna see this? Oh my god! Wait, that was the cryo. That was the fucking cryo, chat. Our world is worth fighting for. What up? What up? Thanks for being a homie. Farah, rocket launcher. Rockets impact now apply a 25% movement speed reduction for 0.5 seconds. And rocket impact knockback increased by 100%. Concussive blast now has two ability charges, and enemies knocked by a, a concussive blast become immune to all knockback, knockbacks for 1.5 seconds. I will protect the innocent. Cut, see, they get a, they get a, she, they get a, they get an immunity. I will protect the innocent. See, you can't, you can't spam it twice. Junkrat no longer has audible footsteps. Increase a rip tire. Increase movement speed when detaching from walls. <laughs> it's a perfect day for some mayhem. I guess when running away, you're not going to be able to hear it I mean, on the other team. And apparently, rip tire increases movement speed when de detaching off walls. You, you, you get that little extra fly. 
Okay, sorry. Sombra. Machine pistol. Weapon spread reduced by 20% and shots per second increased from 20 to 24. Hack. Cooldown when interrupted increased from 2 to 3 seconds and hack duration reduced from 5 to 3.5 seconds. And stealth now has an 8 second maximum duration. No longer plays an audio cue if the ability reaches its full duration. This so weapon spread reduced by 20% but shots per, uh, sh shots per second increased from 20 to 24. Okay, wait a minute. What? Pobrecito. Okay, what else? Uh, hack, cool, when cool, okay, blah, 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 we can't do that. I'm only doing the things that I can do. Stealth now has an 8 second minimum maximum duration. And no longer plays an audio cue if the ability reaches its full duration. Okay, so it doesn't warn people that you're on, you know, you, you come on stealth. Bastion. Character size reduced by 15%. Configuration. Recon ammo increased from 35 to 100. And weapon spread reduced by 20%. Self-repair can now be channeled while firing. Bastion. His size is reduced by 15%. Ammo re increased from 35 to 1 fucking 100. So you could just sit here for days. And now finally run out of ammo and can now repair himself while firing. Hanzo, the dragons now spawn immediately if the arrow impacts terrain. That's cool. Dragon air, storm arrow, sorry. No longer fires the next five arrows instantly. Now grants a six second buff when the following effects. Lunge cooldown reduced from four to one second and Stormbow movement penalty removed. Stormbow, Stormbow draw time decreased from 0.75 to 0.45. Okay. Oh, and, and it's... You could jump cra you could jump crazy? Torbjorn, Rivet Gun. Dealing damage with primary fire adds a stacking buff that increases its damage by five. And each buff lasts for five seconds. You can't really see a debuff on him though. Dealing damage with primary fire adds a stacking buff that increases its damage by five. Each buff lasts for five seconds. I wish it shows you that they're like debuffed or something. You know what I'm talking about, chat? Like, I wish it says above the name, like, hey, you hit this guy already. Okay, Ash, the Viper, no longer reloads ammo individually, now reloads all ammo in 2.25 seconds. That's pretty cool, okay. Coach Gun, cooldown increased from 10 to 13 seconds. Okay. And dynamite no longer no longer deals self damage. Explosion no longer has a damage fall off. Okay. That's <laughs> it's so it's just so weird. It... Just so weird. And no longer deals self damage. No longer deals self damage. Okay, Cassidy, health reduced from 225 to 200, so reverted the change. Peacekeeper, weapon recovery reduced from 0.5 to 0.42. Secondary fire removed. You can't right-click, holy shit. Combat roll, cooldown increased from 6 to 8 seconds and can, on can no longer be used in the air. Deadeye, reduced visual effects around Cassidy while active. Wow, they actually nerfed Cassidy, holy shit. Give me one second. Uh, you could shoot faster, I think. Yeah, you could shoot faster. <laughs> You can shoot faster. What up, what up? Thanks for being a homie. Reaper. Shadow step. Cooldown decrease from 10 to 5 seconds. Holy shit. Reaper's gonna be teleporting all over the fucking map. Can now be used during Wraith form. Oh my god. Wraith form. Cooldown reduced from 8 to 4 seconds. What the fuck? No longer reloads your weapon. No longer applies a movement speed buff. What the fuck? And you can use Wraith. And Wraith is four seconds. What up, what up? Thanks for being a homie. One year and I still haven't gotten bitches, Satch. And you can use Fade while... Teleporting.
Soldier 76. Reduced It'll visual effects around Soldier 76 while active. Helix Rockets. No longer deals self-damage. Okay. Cooldown increased from 6 to 8 seconds. Widowmaker, Grappling Hook, cooldown increased from 12 to 15 seconds, and Venom 9, holy shit, look at all the changes for Venom Mine. Venom Mine can now place up to three active mines, holy shit. Imagine putting all three mines in the same spot. Cooldown reduced from 15 to 10 seconds, reduced damage from 15 to 10 per second, so you can put up to three mines for 30, 30 damage a second. Tracer, Pulse Bomb, ultimate cost reduced by 50%. Wow, Tracer's going to be able to farm Pulse Bombs. Explosion damage reduced from one uh, 350 to 190. Oh. No longer deals self-damage. That's good for me, at least. You can't even one-shot this anymore. You can get it low, but look at this. Ready? Look, look at the old charge. Ready, chat? That's like almost like old... Old... Tracer. Woo! Okay, support. Biotic Rifle. Reload time decreased from 1.5 to 0 0.75. Of course he would do that to himself. Of course he would do that to himself, chat. Sleep dart. Sleep slept targets now appear in the kill feed. Oh, that's cool. That's a good change. Allies now see an icon above the slept enemy. Turrets can now be slept. How do you sleep a turret? Okay. Slept Sleep dart can now stop D.Va's mech from flying during self-destruct. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Nano boost. Nano boost. Now, instead of granting increased healing received to the target, it now causes the target's target to also heal for 50% more. Casting time reduced from point, point 0.15 to point zero 0.05. And final blows dealt by the allies affected by nano now decrease Ana's current cooldowns by one second. Fighting for what Reload time decreased from 1.5 seconds to point 0.75. I have never seen a grandma move her hands that fast. What the fuck? Emery, no, that granny got hands, yeah. Sleep dart now appears in the kill feed. That's nice. Baptiste exo boots. Maximum jump height increased by 50%. What the fuck? Why? 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 Time to fully charge increased from one to two seconds. Why? Immortality field. Duration decreased from 5 to 1.5 seconds. Nice! <laughs> Immortality field. Cooldown decreased for, to from... Uh, to from... Wait. Cooldown decreased to from... Why does that sound so weird? Cooldown decreased to from 25... That's, that's fucked up, right? That's not me. Is my... Am I high? Cooldown decreased to from 25 to 23 seconds. I'm telling you, Blizzard, if you're watching this, I will literally proofread everything that you do for $100,000 a year. I will be a part of your business. Now prevents allies from dropping below 20% of their maximum health up to up from 10%. You know what? That's fine because instead of a 5 second duration, it's 1.5 seconds. Amplification Matrix. Baptiste can now deal self-healing with the biotic launcher what while up, up? the ultimate is active and duration lowered Seconds from 10 to 8. To to uh, you could jump higher with this character. No dying on you could jump up to 50% higher. Going up. Holy fuck, bro! <laughs> what the fuck is you that f Okay, Brig. Inspire healing effect... Healing effect expires. Sorry, I couldn't, couldn't fucking read. Healing effect expires immediately if Brig dies. Shield bash. Distance covered increased by 15%. Now retains more velocity when colliding with terrain. <laughs> so you could, you're going to be able to do those fucking crazy ass fucking jumps, I'm, I'm pretty sure now. Whip shot. While rally is active, whip shot functionally, functionality changes to the following. 
damage damages and knocks back all enemies within a seven meter radius what the hell restricts briggs movement speed for 0.75 what the hell and increases the cooldown by the remaining duration of rally plus four seconds no no okay so you rally, rally to me. and your whip shot holy shit that's pretty cool that's actually pretty cool Lucio. Sonic Amplifier. While wall riding, damage increased from 20 to 25. And enemies that are... Sound Barrier. Enemies that are in the area of effect are now being knocked back 6 meters. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, let's break it. Damn! oh you boop him a little bit. You, you boop him a little bit. We already saw that. Valkyrie is no longer an, an ultimate ability. Is now ability two. Healing increased from 55 to 70 per second. The staff beam is no longer attached to additional allies. In duration reduced from 15 to 3 seconds. Cooldown is now 20 seconds. Flying movement speed decreased from 7 to 6 seconds, and Guardian Angel movement speed reduced from 25 to 20. Resurrect is now an ultimate ability. Can now resurrect up to 5 people at once. Maximum range increased from 5 to 8 meters. Mora, new passive. Quick melee now slows enemies for 30% for 1 second. This effect has a 10 second cooldown per enemy. Biotic Grasp. Primary Fire, maximum resource increased by 12.5%. Biotic Orb. Orbs no longer change speed when near valid targets. Orbs now move at a constant 5.5 meters per second. After activating the ability, holding the primary or secondary fire for one second will cause you to fire faster orb that moves at a constant 20 meters per second. Coalescence. Channeling an enemy, channeling on an enemy target continuously for two seconds will now also lift them up off the ground for three seconds. Also the orb. How do you do the... Oh, look, look! The power of destruction. You can, like, m decide how fast the orb goes? Can you? Channeling on... Oh, wait, wait. Orbs now move at a constant 5.5 seconds meter meters per second. After activating the ability, holding primary fire or secondary fire for one second will cause the orb to... Will cause you to fire the orb faster that moves at a constant 20 meters per second. How do you do that? Touch from afar. That's the fast orb. You just hold it down? I literally just did that and but it was moving slowly. Surrender to my will. Okay. Zenyatta, new passive elevation. Zenyatta can jump higher if he holds the jump button. <laughs> Orb of Destruction, ammo increased from 20 to 25. Orb of Harmony, grant an additional roll specific effect if attached to an ally for two seconds. Tanks, 20% damage reduction. Wow, that's actually really fucking cool. Um, that's actually really fucking cool. Damage, 10% movement speed increase. And supports, healing received, increased from 30 to 40 health per second. Interesting. Orb of Discord. Damage amplification reduced from 25 to 20%. Higher if he holds the button. Is without form. Okay. And last but not least, holy fucking shit, fucking slap my fucking ass. That's a lot of fucking changes. Okay. Symmetra moved from damage to the support role. Now sees ally health bars by default like other support heroes. Photon project there. Primary, primary fire damages per... Primary fire damage per second decreased from 60, 120, 180 to 40, 80, 120. 
Secondary fire damage reduced from 8, 120 to 80, and secondary fire deals up to 50% increased damage to non-heroes like turrets and barriers. Ammo increased from 70 to 80. Sentry turrets. Health increased from 30 to 50, so you cannot melee turrets anymore. Turret, you used to be able to melee a turret. Tur melees do 30 damage, but you can't one-shot a turret with a melee anymore. No, wait, what? Sentry turrets no longer deal damage. They heal allies. What the fuck? So you can put them on a wall where no one can shoot and just play behind the wall. Heals 20 health per second per turret. So you could have three turrets up for fucking 60 healing? Maximum range increased from 10 to 12 meters. Building time reduced from 0.75 to 0.5. And cooldown reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. No longer slows target movement speed. <clears throat> teleporter. Increase, cooldown increased from 10 to 12 seconds. Allies that take the teleporter receive a 40% additional movement speed for 2 seconds. This effect has a 10 second cooldown per ally. Photon barrier. Health reduced from 4,000 to 2,500 health. Health duration reduced from 12 to 10 seconds and ultimate cost reduced by 9%. You can heal. Sentry deployed. You can heal people. You can't do as much damage. Which is still a lot of damage, really. Teleporter, you can move faster now with a teleporter. After two seconds, you move 40% faster. And Photon Barrier now has uh, 2,500 health instead of 4,000. And it only lasts 10 seconds, but you get your ult faster. The sim turret's healing is actually kind of funny. The one thing I want to see, though, is that it says general hitscan changes. You can't really do a lot of damage. Let's say, let's see Cassidy. Just a second and dispense itself. Very far range. Oh, wait, no, it increased. Oh, no, it increased. They increased the damage. Instead of doing half damage from very... I'll say, if you, if you shoot a headshot... Let's say you're playing Cassidy and you do 140 damage a headshot. I read that. I, I, I got that mixed up. Yeah. So if you shoot a headshot from 140 damage, instead of it being very far away and it splits in half, so it's only 70 damage, it's... Well, you do 70% of the total damage now. So let's say the headshot's 100 damage. You're doing 70 damage instead of, you know, 50.